A subgroup of patients with only modest amounts of disease may be treated with rituximab treatment alone. There is one potential risk with uh, treating patients with rituximab, and that is what is called a flare phenomenon. What can happen is that the IgM levels may actually go up before they come down. That can be a challenge if patients were very close to a hyperviscosity problem, and in other words, their protein may suddenly become very sticky. To manage this, most patients will actually undergo plasmapheresis. In other words, their blood is essentially washed to get rid of the extra protein. And that can be done right before and then during the doses of rituxan to bring that down. Additionally, what can happen is chemotherapy can be given in combination with rituximab. The chemotherapy directly killing the cancer cells may also limit the uh, flare phenomenon and allow patients to tolerate the rituximab treatment without difficulty.